Fruity Delay 2, commonly referred to as an echo effect. I'm going to show you two ways to use it, one extremely easy way, one slightly more advanced way. This video is a clip from a longer video I did called the ABCs of FL Studio, which you can find in the description of this video. Let's get started. Delay it. So I have this vocal sample I just recorded. I'm constipated. It sounds great, but what we need to do is make it more wide and give it some space. And a good way to do that is with Fruity Delay 2. And I'm just going to go over the different parameters here. So first of all, we've got the input panning. Whichever way this goes, it'll play the echo effect in that ear. I'm constipated. Next, we have this volume, which is the volume of the input signal. So if we turn this down all the way, I'm constipated. You can't hear anything. It's good to probably have it around 50%. I'm constipated. I'm constipated. Moving forward, right here under feedback, we have normal, invert, and ping pong. As you can hear with normal, whichever way you turn the panning is which way it's going to go, or if you just leave it at 50%, it's just going to be in the center. If we go to invert, whatever we turn the panning to, it's going to do the effect in the opposite ear. So I don't I don't know why you would ever use that. I never use it. Now, the most useful thing right here is probably ping pong. You'll notice if you just leave ping pong and you don't mess with the panning, it's still in the center. So what you need to do is change to the right or left. It doesn't really matter. And then ping pong delay is basically just, it's gonna go from right to left, which is usually my favorite way to use it. I'm constipated. So the volume of the feedback, that is similar to the volume of the input, but the way they differ is the volume is gonna determine how long the delay keeps going on. If we turn it down all the way, it'll only happen like once. And if we turn it up all the way, it just keeps going. Now cut, this is the cutoff frequency, which they have in percentages and not the actual frequency for some reason. So it's basically a low pass filter. So if we turn it to around 50%, I'm constipated. you can hear that the delay signal has a lot of the high frequencies cut out of it. And the time knob, that is, that's pretty much like if you want to have it on quarter notes or eighth notes, it's, it's the same concept, except again, they have it as numbers instead of like musical rhythm, but at least they have these dots. This is usually, what is that set default, is usually how you would use this in a song. But every now and then it's fun to play around, like if you do it one more dot up, that's good sometimes if you want like a rhythmic type of vibe, and you can go all the way to center. Huh. I don't know what this offset knob does, let me try it all the way to the right. So I guess really you can do a ping pong thing with the offset, but I don't know. I never use that. I wouldn't even worry about that. And then the last knob on here is the dry knob. That's just going to take out the dry signal and only leave you with the delay effect. So I'm pressing play right now. I'm That's constipated. Now for the slightly advanced version of this, and this is the way I like to do my delays because you have a lot more control over it. You can take your vocal I'm sample constipated. and then choose any mixer track, right click on that arrow and go to route to this track. Not route to this track only, but route to this track. Now what's happening is your vocal sample is playing in this mixer track and this mixer track. So I'm constipated. Now what we can do is go to the track that it's routed to and choose Fruity Delay 2. And we go to this dry knob and we turn it all the way down. This way you have control over everything about the delay. Like if you want to put an EQ on it or if you want to distort it, you can do whatever you want to to the actual delay signal. I'm constipated. And you can get like an endless amount of effects with that. So that's how you do that. And if you'd like to see more, go to the video in the description. And if there's anything else you'd like to learn, let me know in the comments. 